Clear. I love all bitches. Brown square over bitches. Rich poor slave bitches. Smart dumb crazy bitches. Rude horny dirty bitches. All right, guys, welcome to a new video. So I'm going to attempt to do a few of the Karimja diary tasks. Um, there's the first one right there. Um, so recently I just did a few quests. I did a uh, mountain's daughter. Uh, which one was it? Well, lies below. And I did one more, I believe. I guess I can just look through my pictures. This is the recent one I did. This one. Oh yeah, the tribal totem thingy where you go to like RD for a few minutes, um, which were all very easy quests, but not this one. This is the wrong one for sure. Where the hell's the quest? No, it's not these ones. These ones are for the barrel gloves. No. Okay. Guess not. Well, I did that one. That. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyways, yes, I will just be doing a few of these. I believe I can do all of them because there's not too many higher requirement levels, at least for this one. Uh, it's mostly just a lot of running around. I remember a few of these from uh, doing it on RS3 anyways. I believe this one right here, you literally just pick it up and you drop it, and then you can just pick it up again. Yeah, as you see. Wait, drop. Pick up. Drop. Pick up. Drop. Pick up. I would recommend you guys to start doing these as well anyways. Just because soon the achievement diaries will all be coming out, and you may as well have at least the one that is only in the game right now completed, so then you can have a good start, I guess. I believe you literally just swing. And before this is like one million agility experience per hour, and just no one knows about it. All right, cool. And before it tells me to kill one of these, I have no idea. Just in case, I'm gonna kill one. I don't know if it's a requirement or not. Slice of cake. In before, I was gonna do a bad joke and say this is where Mon Mark lives, but that's that's not funny. Believe you also need to mine some gold or half of these. I honestly remember just doing on RS3 because I did. I think I did most of these twice uh, on RS3 because of both my accounts. So believe you're supposed to mine this one, not the other one south. But I guess we will see. This might strike it off. Come on, bitch. Yeah, I believe that checked it off, right? Yeah, yeah. There we go. This makes no sense. Successfully kill Cutzek. I believe that is a level 360s, which is like wave 30. How do I have a fire cape that's not striked off? That makes no sense. This probably isn't a bad spot to cannon these things for like a slayer task, but probably not really good slayer task, I would assume, because there's like four down here. Yeah, that's right, Palm. You keep your own, buddy. Believe we need to go to Ardugan from here. Ardugan, Ardugan, Ardugan. Where the fuck is Ardugan? I'm gonna assume it's Port Kazar then, because that's like south of it, right? That's like where the fishing place is, I'm gonna hope. Come on. This is Dugan. This is our Dugan. The fuck? This said Brimhaven, because there's another one way over here. But the, this said travel from. Maybe it's this shit? What the fuck is this? It might have just been. Uh, okay, you gotta pay fare from the guy wearing the blue suit or some shit. This one will definitely work. There we go. Good boy. Okay. I guess you can call this a semi-guide because this is probably what I'm going to do for the video. I'm thinking this might actually help some people anyways because you do need to, uh, this is not it, is it? Wait. This is Musa point though. Pick five bananas for Abdul. There we go. He'll be happy. Alright, so I just tried this, but it didn't work. But I went to Port Sarim. I had no idea. Did it work? We're at Port Sarim. There we go. It worked. And I believe this is the last one for the easy task at least. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. Now we talk to some pirate guy, which it says it's some weird... I think it's this guy. I'm not too sure. Is it this him? I don't even know. Oh, the name's Pirate Jack the Fruitcake. I thought it said in the pub called the Fruitcake Pub. So it's this guy right here. There we go. Ask about the achievement diaries. Yes, please. Oh my god, I heard you can make bank with those gloves. Wink, wink. Wait, can we use it on Hunter? Oh my god, we can! 21 Hunter! Who even needs fucking uh, Tears of Gothics when you got diaries? Alright, well I'm gonna do Warbands actually on RS3 right now and then probably return, so see you guys soon. Alright, so I decided to just go for the thing. I'm, I'm gonna think that the Elite Task I was gonna probably ask you to kill Jad, in my opinion. So I'm thinking I'm gonna probably have to come back in here whenever the Elite one gets uh, released, because right now it only goes up to hard. Uh, for the, oh shit, this is gonna be the, alright, the next wave actually is the two level 180s and then 360. I could easily get one hit pretty soon here, there we go. Alright, here we go, that's gonna be the 360, I believe, and then I should be, should be good once I kill it, I believe. Alright, let's see if we get it. Oh god, there we go. Okay, yes, we got it, awesome. Okay, I can now just take this off. Watch this hit a 60 on me, it's fucking crazy how high these things can hit. Come on, 60. 
First time I ever fought one of these things, there he goes, 37. It actually hit a 60 on me. This was back when I had no knowledge of fire keep. I just tried my hardest. I got to this weight when I got hit by a 60 and died right away. Anyways, here's a look now. I mostly just started doing the hard ones. I have left now to collect five palm leaves. And then I got to make the wrap, which just like kind of ties them together. And then I got to do the Quran bonds, which means I got to do um, the quest I haven't actually done yet, which is the Thai Buana Tree Up, whatever the fuck it's called. So yeah, I'll probably get on that sometime tonight. But uh, besides that, I'm not too sure about the medium ones. I haven't really paid attention to them. Yeah, I've got a lot of them. Okay, so um, I guess let's get busy. All right, guys, a little tip. If you guys are doing the hard task, it asks you to get five leafy palm crabs. Uh, and it says go near the water thing. For me, I had to run like all the way over here or over here. You just click on the tropical trees. There's one everywhere, but if you right click it, it should say shake. But most of them around here for me, there is no shake option. So um, yeah, it looks just like this type of a tree, these exact trees. But it says uh, like you basically just shake it and then it drops a leaf. You can drop it five times, pick it up, and it counts as basically the task. But you'll also need it to make your own thing, and then you can eat it. You can make your own. I'm looking basically right here. Uh, scroll down. This is there we go. Um, you gotta yeah eat umile wrap, whatever the fuck it's called. So you just kill a bird there, shake the tree, attach them, and then cook them on a stove or whatever. But that was a bitch to look for the tree because it said around the water thing. So I thought it was like a special tree, but didn't see anything special. So here's one thing completed, and I think. If I go, isn't there like the ladder up here still, I think? Yeah, I believe this is going to complete the second. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. And it actually looks like one of these requirements is level 41 Hunter to catch a Grack. So, uh, might have to do it because that will be like my last requirement I'll have to do in total for all these things. So, rip. I should have done this on my way to kill a dragon, but you got to climb these stairs. Typical. What a newbie assignment that is. And I'm going to give you guys a quick little mining tip, actually, because uh, I have to go over here and get some gems to exchange it for a machete or some shit. Um, believe it or not, this is actually a very good method for mining if you actually have decent mining level. And you don't want to maybe do iron ore with dropping it, and you don't want to do mother load mining because it's slow. Uh, mining these right here, actually, which you normally get quite quickly, uh, and then just quick hopping or just going to the next world. It's actually, I believe, it was around 50k experience an hour, which is very good for low levels, as you guys can see. It's not like it's hard. You can bring a gem bag, which you can get from Motherload Mining, and then you can actually just fill it up with these gems, and you can actually make decent profit while getting yourself whatever mining level you're trying to get. And I would consider this to be quite AFK in my opinion. I mean, it's not like this is hard. Though I would definitely recommend having the gem bag because that will help a lot. I think it costs 100 uh, pay dirts, and as you see, I mined all of them. And you just, if you are on Orion, I guess, even though you could use sticky keys if you don't have Orion, hop to the next world, and there you go. I actually might consider doing this once I do get my gem bag until I'm like level 85 mining or 80 something, uh, which right now I'm still level 73, so I might consider doing this myself. I believe this part I actually need that weird tuber thing, which means I gotta like do this crap. Yeah, crap. I gotta get like 100% in this crap again. Ugh, time to get 100%. This is always fun. By the way, a little tip for this as well. The best thing to do is whenever something pops out at you and it starts attacking you, just kill it because you get like 3%, I think, which is very quick compared to how slow this shit is. These things take forever to kill, and they lower your stats, which is just great. I believe this is the one that gives you 3%, though, because the other ones give you like 1%. I think this one gives you 3%. let us just find out. 5%, and we're going to be put to, come on, 8%. Come on, 8%. Yeah, there we go. We got a tribal mass, which is like some weird PKers use this shit. So one thing I did notice, guys, is because um, I knew I, I'm going to need this item. It's called a gout tuber or some shit. It's this item right here. And exactly what I thought is happening there is people right now buying it for 350k plus. I'm willing to bet you guys that whenever the actual uh, elite tasks come out or all the tasks in general, I'm willing to think that these, I'm willing to bet actually that these things will probably reach 1 mil each. I don't know how rare they are. I mean, I know they're very rare, but I don't know if you can get like one an hour or two an hour, but possible very good profit for anyone in the future that wants to do this shit for fun, I guess. And um, yeah, I believe you get one once you keep chopping away at these things. Once you finally get lucky enough that one appears uh, like in front of you and you just use a spade on it, I believe, and you get it. But yeah, I'm willing to bet that this thing will be, people will be buying it for 1 million GP whenever this actually comes out. Uh, because people are going to be in a hurry to get it in a rush. They don't want to spend time doing this. 
Uh, and if they don't get it while they're trying to get a 100% favor, I have, I have high, high thoughts that they're going to be paying one mil each for them. In fact, at this point, I might be willing to pay one mil each if I don't even get it. But yeah, it's a possible thing you can do, but I would be sure to do it like before it actually comes out because the day of release is when it's going to have like the higher, like the higher, um, uh, the need for it. Higher demand, that's what I was looking for. But yeah, just a possible tip. I know I thought I'd slip that in the video for you guys. Uh, let's see if I get one. I'm already at 30%. I don't know if it's even really worth fixing the fence at this point because I need to get it and I can't get it from doing the fences. So um, yeah, I'll probably just stick here and just drop these sticks. Oh my God. I got it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There it is. Do not eat that shit. Oh my god, I'd like good fight one mil. So yeah, I think I got lucky last time I tried this. I got it in like 80 something percent. But yep. Um so I think you talked to this person. Uh I don't know if you use it on them or what the fuck do you because you're supposed to use three uncuts. Oh, you also need a machete. Machete, three uncuts, whichever ones, or cut, and a gout tuber. So I'm not too sure. I might need some trading sticks as well. I kind of forget at this point. Uh, all right, guys, and I am now just about to complete Thai Buana, whatever the fuck, cleanup. I fucking hate this quest. This is like my fifth time probably doing it, and I always seem to fuck up anyways during the quest. Um, but yes, I just got to go up here now and talk to the guy that I started the quest with, and I think I should be complete, which means I cannot wear the Zamorak spear. Where the hell are the options? Uh, yeah, I think this is how you end the quest. Yes, coins came, yeah, <laughs> We're now at 182 quest points, so 18 more. I can block one more Slayer task, and then one of the other diaries that's going to be coming out can give you another task to block. So I believe now I need to cook a spider on a stick, trap a horn grack, and uh, cook a crumbah thoroughly. So that one's going to be... I mean, I have this right here. I think I can actually cook it right now. I don't have cooking gauntlets, though, so I'm, I'm going to risk it, I guess. I don't know. I can just buy some of these probably off of the uh, Zybiz, but I believe... Could just I've never cooked these before. I know people do this shit for like one tick cooking and you can get like freaking 800 cake cook an hour or some shit, but never really cooked one myself and before I cook a poison. Okay, so that's what I thought would happen. What happens now? <laughs> this happened during the quest. It became poison. I didn't really understand what the hell's going on. All right, I believe I got to talk to this guy right here actually to make it so I actually cook them thoroughly. I believe this is the guy you talked to. I just kind of looked it up. Where'd he go? He used to be right here. Don't wait. I think he moved because fucking I did the quest now. So I think he's back in the city now. All right. Well, since I gotta probably just go fish my own two lazy ones, I is right now. So I'm gonna go get a few of these weird things, use them on this vessel, and then I will go fish some. And then hopefully I'll cook some successfully. And then I'll have actually all the. I think this is the last hard one I have to do. So um, yeah, the only ones I'm stuck on is basically the Garak one, which means I gotta get Hunter up. And then I gotta cook the spider on a stick, which. Uh, I'm pretty sure I know how to do that. Alright, so this guy moved here, and he actually sells them, but I can't even... Oh, is this where people buy all these Karambans then? Okay, so... I don't even have any GP on. I gotta go back to the fucking bank, bring money, buy those from him. Ugh. Alright, good luck. I better really click at least one or so of these. What? All right, so I guess I might have been... I, I'm pretty sure I was talking to the right brother, but I talked to that one as well, and he gave me cooking experience. I'm going to talk to this guy and see if he gives me any experience at all. Okay. Yeah, there we go. I should be able to do this now. I guess after the quest, you guys should talk to, like, all three of those guys that you basically put in there, because then you have, like, I think the ability to fish it, I guess, then, and cook it and to make poisonous spears, I would assume, because... There we go. Okay, let's see if this works. This should work. I probably should use a range, but I believe he gave me cooking experience, which makes me think, yeah, thoroughly, motherfucker. All the motherfucker. Fuck yeah, mother bitch. All right, there we go. So I can now actually do basically all of that. And there's the 190 experience. And this is basically how people, not this way, but people get like 800k plus cooking an hour that this crap and... Crazy AHK methods. I don't think what it says then on the 2007 wiki, it, it says talk to TTH, which is a guy I talked to, but I think he teaches you how to fish them or something, because he gave me like a fishing drop. The guy in the middle hut, uh, you talk to and he gives you basically the ability to cook them properly. 
Well, guys, the last thing that I must do is to get the hunter level to do the Grack, which is right there. And then I am complete all of the diaries for Karamja. So, good end of the video here. I'm going to start the next one off with completing it and uh, getting all those hunter levels as well, which I'll probably start sometime tomorrow, actually, because it's quite late right now. I'm going to bed. So, hopefully, you guys enjoy this video. I think it's quite long, I'm going to assume, because this is a lot of clips put together. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully, you guys enjoyed. And I might keep this or Alka, I don't really know. Oh my god, two of my herb batches died. Yeah, I guess that's what happens when you go questing. Fuck's sake. Are you guys ready to laugh at me? Here comes death number one right here. Unless it might be... Oh my god, I hope the other one might be just diseased then. Uh, Falador, let's see if it's diseased or not. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. If, if this herb patch made it to 75% uh, complete, then it's only diseased for a few more minutes, I think, and then it'll be dead anytime soon. But if it got diseased at stage two, it's already dead. Come on, what is it? What is it? No. Wait. Oh my God. Wait, this is the one that got diseased twice. Okay, so it's it's at, yeah, it's at stage two. Okay. I think I've cured this one twice throughout my whole day. But anyway, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. That is how you save yourself like 70k or 80k on these torsals. Um, although my other patches are done, so. I yeah, I should know those watermelons. Whatever. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time. All kinds of gains in this bitch.